Well, Last two. We got one more award to end off the night, though, right? Yes, sir. And this is the lifetime. We got one more. It's, it's the lifetime achievement award. Uh, this gentleman, I believe, I believe, I'm sure he's won a Rifty before I became a part of the show because uh, championship swag. He had to win one of those. Yes, years. he definitely has championship swag. I believe twice. Yes, yeah, sure. he, right. he 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 won the championship uh, swag award along with uh, LeBron James and Chris Bosh and that uh, Miami Heat team. There you go. Well, I mean, he he is he is the probably I and I hate to say this because LeBron was there, but he's probably the greatest player in franchise history uh, for everything he did there. Three oh five. We yeah, talking about none other. Three rings there. Three rings, five finals appearances. We talking about Wade County, Dwayne Wade, Finals MVP, NBA All Star, multiple NBA first teams. <clears throat> He's done it all in the league, uh, Dwayne Wade, man. Lifetime Achievement Award. I'll let you kick it off, Trip. Yes. Uh, first of all, put some respect on his name. If you do not know who Dwayne Wade is, he is a future first ballot Hall of Famer. As, as you mentioned, three-time NBA champion. He's a finals MVP, 13-time All-Star, two-time All-NBA first team, uh, three-time All-NBA second team, three-time All-NBA third team, three-time defensive second team, scoring champion he has done it all if you're talking about the nba he's an olympic gold medalist um he he is miami wade county as the as miami has the name changed in favor of of the dwayne wade he runs south beach um i mean i what can i what can you not what has he not done in the, basketball the only thing you left out oh he also has two gold medals it's the only thing yeah. Two, uh, two gold medals, but, yes. Yeah, and you ran it. The resume is, is super impressive. Without a doubt, a first ballot Hall of Famer. Um, he he is the definition of heat culture. He changed all that. There was no heat culture before Dwayne Wade got there. Um, he turned him into a winner. Him and Shaq obviously helped him win their first NBA Finals. Then he helped recruit Braun and Bosch down there to create the Heatles, leading them to four straight NBA Finals, winning two of those. Dwayne mm -hmm. Wade just on and on phenomenal player injury slowed him down a little bit, but it didn't slow him down enough to wait. You know, he wasn't going to be a first ballot hall of fame. Like you said, 13 time all-star he's done it all in the game. He was a phenomenal college player as well at Marquette. He led them to a final four. So Dwayne Wade has done everything on the basketball court and this lifetime achievement award. He's well deserving of it. Yes. And, uh, and I, and I, and I love this. I love that. That is actually Dwayne Wade because I was actually at, uh, his last game at the Barclay Center uh, with we Melo we came through. I was there. Uh, shout out to Joe's, man, for always taking care of us over at the Barclay Center. And that was such a legendary night. Like, you, you know, you don't usually see that type of love and admiration for someone on the opposing team when they are retiring. But just the, the amount of love and respect that Brooklyn showed to Dwayne Wade in that game, it, it was just crazy. Uh, I believe what didn't he, he finished with a triple double, didn't he? In that in that last game, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he, he had a triple double. The legs looked fresh. Uh, yeah. It was a packed house. Everybody was there. And in terms of the number three, uh, I had the rating number last year during the pandemic. He's the second best player to ever wear the number three, only behind Allen Iverson. I got him ahead of Chris Paul. But okay. D Wade to me is it, it's just everything, man. D Wade was everything, man. He was a phenomenal ball player. Um, we were truly honored. He was part of one of the greatest draft classes of all time with him, Braun, uh, Bosch, and Melo. So, well, you got to play in the big three. Give him a couple years. Let him, chill for, let him chill for a couple years. Let him get some time to relax. But he got to yeah. go to the big three, man. I want to see him playing in the big three. And, and we got to applaud him for now he's part owner of the Utah Jazz as well. That's right. <laughs> Put some respect on that man's name. Shout out to Dwayne Wade. He is doing it all. He is showing you on and off the court. Uh, how to be great. If you want to follow somebody, if you want to roll a good role model, somebody to, to, to look up and look how they went from high school to, to college, to NBA, to now post NBA, he's host, hosting the, uh, what's the show, the, the Cube. He's hosting um, on a uh, TNT right now. So that is one of those guys, um, one of the best to ever do it. Congratulations to Dwayne Wade. You are most deserving of the Lifetime Achievement Award. You now you'd now join others like uh, Tim Duncan, who was honored in previous years. Uh, so, you know, so a lot of a lot of greats that you will be mentioned with in that category. 
What can I say, man? Absolutely. And again, uh, you know, I know Dwayne Wade won't ever publicly talk about it because he doesn't want to diminish those finals and the MVP there. But we know this is right up there, you know, with some of his greatest accomplishments. You know, you, you marry a, a beautiful actress, you win a rifty, you know, finals fall somewhere in there. But I'm sure the rifty is right up there along with the birth of his children. It's right up there. It's I'm sure it's a close second to birth of children. Um, I would probably say that one. And maybe finals MVP would probably be up there as well. So I think right. a combination of those three things would probably set the tone. Um, but I mean, we talk, it's, the, the Rifties are a big deal, man. Yeah. I mean, he has three children. So this one might fall in line between one of the kids, you know, like. It's probably between second and third. Yeah. It, it, like, you know, I've, I've done that, but I've never had a Rifty. Exactly. So that's, that's, Somewhere that's now. how that goes, you know. Yeah. A, a solo Rifty anyway. Because he's had a Rifty before, but I think what happens here, since this is lifetime achievement, it automatically gets pushed up. Yeah, this is an individual. You have you have your moment now. You can be selfish about it because this is all about you. Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real, Real Talk. Fans.